As a big vampire and blood magic fan, we have to talk about V Rising, which is developed and published by Stunlock Studios, the same people who made Battle Right, which is a multiplayer online battle arena game, and well, they have now decided to make a vampire survival experience, which is being released today in early access on Steam. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to show support by clicking like and subscribing down below. Let us know in the comments what your favorite vampire game is, and we're gonna talk about V Rising and some things you need to know here in this video, but first, let's have a quick overview. You awaken as a weakened vampire after centuries of slumber. You're on the hunt for blood to regain your strength while hiding from the scorching sun in order to survive. You're going to rebuild your castle and convert humans into your loyal servants in a quest to raise your own vampire empire. You'll make allies or enemies online or play offline solo, fend off holy soldiers and wage war in a world of conflict. So let's jump into some of the details of the open world. You can explore a vast open world teeming with mythical horrors and dangers, travel through lush forests, open countryside, and dark caverns to discover valuable resources, meeting friends and foes alike along the way. You can traverse the world with vampire comrades or hunt solo as you pillage villages, raid bandits, and delve into the domains of supernatural beasts. You must stick to the shadows during the daytime or the burning sunlight will turn you to ashes. So roaming around at night and preying on your victims in the darkness is the way to go. And as a vampire, you must also quench your thirst for blood while you're planning your strategies around the day and nighttime cycle. And as briefly mentioned before, now we're gonna talk about co-op, PVP and single player. You can play this as a single player game, but also you can play online co-op or LAN co-op as well as LAN or online PVP. You can team up with friends and have them join you as well as team against other players and raid their castles in order to take their resources from them. You can travel alone or explore the world with your friends, fighting side by side with other vampires to gain the advantage, or you can raid other players' castles or play the diplomat in the game of blood, power and betrayal compete or cooperate, the choice is yours, so there's some really different ways that you can play this if you want to go down the PvP, single player or co-op route. And talking about raiding other players' castles, let's talk about base building or castle building as it is in V Rising. You're going to gather resources and discover ancient techniques to gain dark powers, then you're going to use that newly acquired knowledge to build castles where you can share your loot and grow your army of darkness. Furthermore, you can personalize and decorate your domain, as well as craft coffins for both servants and friends within your castle. You want to strengthen your castle to protect not only your treasure, but also yourselves from your vampire rivals. But now we need to talk about gameplay because you will be learning and mastering an arsenal of different deadly weapons and unholy abilities as a vampire. In V Rising, you're going to be aiming skill shots and dodging projectiles with WSAD controls as well as cursor based aiming. You will not be clicking to move and you will be able to tailor your vampire to fit your personal playstyle by combining different weapons and the variety of different spells that are earned through vanquishing powerful foes around the whole of the map. So mastering your skills and unleashing your power is an important part and will be customized to your own personal playstyle as well as the progress that you've made through your in-game world. Essentially, it looks like it's an isometric style game, but you do have a variety of very cool looking powers and a lot of different things that you can do from blood magic to blades to all kinds of other vampire powers. Now, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is being released in early access. So let's talk about how the full version of the game is planned to differ from the early access version. And in their own words, they say they want the full version to reflect what their players expect from a vampire survival game with new updates primarily in the form of features and world content that will arrive throughout the early access until launch, the current plan to grow the world for the full release features things like new biomes and dungeons, new weapons and spell kits, new enemy types and varieties, more castle decorations and cosmetics, more crafting recipes, as well as additional features and even increased performance to improve the entire experience overall. So it looks like from their own words, they plan to add a lot into the game throughout the early access period up until the full game launch, which is quite promising. And I really hope we will see these things added in all the way up and until launch, as it does seem like a very promising vampire survival experience. But I am really keen to hear what you guys have to say about it what you think of it down in the comments below. If you did learn from this video, make sure to click like and subscribe down below to support the channel. We also have videos that are on the screen right now that we think you will really enjoy if you did enjoy this, so make sure to click them so that you don't miss out for the content already on the channel just for you.